Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how to increase the frame rate of a video using a deep learning technique called Rife. So as you can see here on the left side we have the video in 25 frames per second and then on the right side we have it in 100 frames per second and uh, it's pretty nice and it works pretty good this is the sample they had on their Google Colab and uh, here you can find information about the project this is the github page of the project I will put the link in the description I was checking uh, their paper on archive about this method and uh, they explain how does this deep learning technique works apparently they're using um, convolutional neural networks and in comparison with the other methods like Dane or Kane they got better numbers so I don't want to talk about these uh, you know details but just for you to know their method is pretty recent they published this paper on November 2020 so it's one of the best current methods that uh, you can find uh, out there on the internet so let's jump to the github page and we want to do this on Google Colab so in the previous video I told you how to colorize um, a black and white video and then in this one we want to see how to increase the frame rate of of the of the same video so once you clicked on the Google Colab link and you open this project don't forget to log in with your Gmail account because you need a Google account for that and also from the runtime go to change runtime type and put this on GPU and then save and if you're not connected click here on connect now I'm connected so I don't need to um, click on that but you need to do it if you are not so I'm going to upload the video that I colorized and then in the next step I'm going to uh, increase its uh, frame rate. So I click here on upload and I select the movie that I want to increase its frame rate. It'll take a while. And meanwhile, we can run these codes and prepare our collab. So first of all, we have to clone the project from GitHub. So click on run cell. And here you receive a message that it says that this notebook is loaded from GitHub and so on and run anyway. And you need to wait a little bit. Then you have to download the trained models and then make the needed you know directories and install the requirements okay perfect now that we have our video uploaded and we have already ran the cells that were needed we are good to go but first let me move this video from here to the archive uh, folder to the right folder here and then let me also rename it to make things easier video would be fine and then here uh, we need to set up some options and uh, for example if you set this parameter to 1 uh, it it will be like the 60 frames per second but if you set it to 2 it will be more than 100 or around 100 frames per second so we also don't want this montage option because it will mix both videos like the first one that I uh, showed you here like this one it will show both videos like in, in both modes next to one another we don't want this we don't want these two next to another so we want like the complete video full screen version like this one um, so I will get rid of this montage option and here the name of the video is video.mp4 as we have it here and then we also put exp option on 2 
If you're interested to know more about these options, you can go here to the GitHub repo of the project and then they have explained about different options here. For example, they say that if, you, uh, if your video has a high resolution, it's like 2K or 4K, then you have to use this UHD option. But anyway, we are good to go. And this first line shows some interesting information about the graphic card that you have available on your Google Colab. So once I run it, then you can see it. So as you can see, we have Tesla T4 GPU and we have around 16 gigabytes of GPU to use. So we are good to go and now we have to wait. As you can see, it shows that it takes around five minutes to finish this process. And here it also shows that the input video is 25 frames per second and then it'll increase it to 100 frames per second then we can already see that it has created the, the output file but we need to wait till it completes okay perfect now it is finished and um, we can see the file here and we can right click on it and download it and apart from that you can also use this cell to display the video let me try it and see if it runs. And um, okay, apparently we're having a um, problem here. Oh, okay, it's because of the name of the video, so I have to change it. I have to change this to a video and then rerun it. Again, we're having a problem. The duration of the video exceeds the max duration attribute. Uh, apparently, it's a little bit problematic to run long videos. I don't know if this is in seconds or minutes or what let me try 300,000 still we're having problem or about 300 okay this doesn't want to work but anyway this should like show the video show the output but anyway um, using this option you can um, create GIFs you know out of out of the videos that you have uh, already processed okay I think I've already downloaded this let's check the output and see how it looks yeah, it, it seems smoother to me of course if we had you know chosen that montage option then we could see it um, better but I can already feel that it's smoother it's like around 100 frames per second Okay, hope you've enjoyed this video um, and I will try to make more videos and more tutorials with Google Colab. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in doing this kind of interesting things using Google Colab.